friends, it's Hazel's mom. Do you hear the birds? Yeah, that means it's almost springtime. So I thought today you and I could paint a birdhouse. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do before we start to paint our birdhouse is we're gonna use our marker to draw on the decorations that we want to paint. Yeah, that'll make it a little bit easier when we pull out our paint brushes and our paint. So here's the trick. We're gonna use five different shapes to make the decorations on our birdhouse. We're gonna use a square, a circle, a rectangle, a triangle, and an oval. Yeah, and I know you can do it because you are really good at your shapes. Okay, so let's see. I think this birdhouse needs some windows. And let's use a square to make our windows. So what do we know about a square? Hmm, a square has four sides and those four sides are the exact same length. So let's go ahead and draw a square on the side of our birdhouse for our window. One, two, three, and one final side to make our square. All right, so we have one window on this side. Let's put a matching window on the other side. And we'll do the same thing with the square. a little bit wavy, isn't it? Well, that's okay. We'll cover it up with some paint. Okay, so we have a window on each side and we used squares to make the windows. So now, what about... Oh, I have an idea. Let's put some planter boxes in front of our windows to put flowers in. So let's see. Our windows are squares, but we want something that's gonna be a little bit longer than our window to put flowers in. Hmm, so which of our shapes looks kinda of like a square, but is a wee bit longer on one side? Yeah, a rectangle. A rectangle looks kind of like a square, doesn't it? It has four sides, but two of the sides are shorter than the other two sides. So let's draw some rectangles around the bottom of our windows. So there's one, it has one, two, three, four sides. Two of the sides are short and two of the sides are long. So let's do one on the other side. We'll do our short sides and our long sides to connect our short sides. We have some pretty wavy lines, don't we? So it's okay that you can see the square through the rectangle. We're gonna paint this over so you won't see the line anymore. 
Yeah, that's the great thing about art, is you can always make corrections later. Okay, so we have windows on both sides, and we have planter boxes for some flowers with our rectangles. So let's put some decorations on the front. Hmm, what do you think birds like? Oh, what about some trees? Okay, let's do some trees. Which of our shapes do you think we can make into trees? Yeah, let's use some ovals to make some trees. That's a great idea. So let's put two trees on the front and then we'll do two trees on the back. We know that birds really like trees, don't we? Yeah, okay, let's see if we can do this. Wait a second, how do I draw an oval? Hmm, so this shape is a circle. And look, it goes round and round and round, but it's all the same size, right? And an oval is smaller on the ends and bigger in the middle. So instead of making a perfect circle, we're gonna have to make what's well, kind of, I guess, oblong is the word we're looking for. So let's see if we can do it. Do you wanna trace with my marker as I go? oval, isn't it? Let's do another one on this side. Okay, trace along with your finger. We're going to start at the top and go all the way around. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, there we go. Great job. Okay, so let's do two more on the back. Okay, because we'll go ahead and cover up with that that up with paint. Yeah. So don't be scared to make mistakes because we can always go back and correct them, can't we? Okay. So we have the tops of the trees, but trees don't just stand in the air, do they? No. They stand on something, and that something is called a trunk. So which of our shapes do you think we could use for the trunk of the trees? Yeah, let's use rectangles. Okay, here we go. There's one rectangle. And two rectangles. See how they look like the trunk of the trees? Okay, let's do the two trees on the back. There's one. And there's the other one. Okay, so we have trees and windows and planter boxes. And well, let's put a little decoration around the door into the birdhouse. What else do birds like? Hmm, well, they like trees and do you think birds like the sun? Yeah, I bet they do. I love when the sun comes out. Hmm, okay, so let's do a sun around our door. What shape is the sun? Yeah, it's a circle. So let's draw another circle around, well, our circle. Okay, do you wanna trace it with me? Here we go, we're gonna start at the top and work our way all the way around. Ready? Great job! 
Okay, so one way that I really like to draw the sun is to show the um, sun rays, I guess you would call, by making triangles. Yeah, so we're gonna make a triangle, little triangles around the sun to show the sun rays. And what do we know about a triangle? Three sides that are all the same length. Well, that's not true. I guess triangle sides can be all kinds of lengths, but let's do triangles with the same length sides for this birdhouse. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I'm just gonna draw the triangles. So we used a circle for the sun, and then we used triangles to make the rays of sunshine. Okay, wow, that looks pretty good. Oh, but you know what? This whole back of the birdhouse is empty. So what do you say we put another window in? Yeah, so on the sides of the house, we made squares for our windows but we have a really long and skinny area for the back of the house. So what shape do you think we should use to make a long and skinny window? Yeah, let's use a rectangle. Rectangles are long and skinny. Oh, that's a nice big window, isn't it? Okay, oh, you know what we still need to do? Let's put some window panes in our windows. Yeah, so what we can do is, this is already a square, so we're gonna cut our square in half with a line, and then we're gonna cut it in half again going this way. pretty good window, doesn't it? Oh, and look, by cutting our square in half this way, we made two rectangles, and then we cut it in half again, and now we have four squares. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, I love shapes. Okay, let's do it on the other side. There we go, one, two, three, four. All right, and oh, what about this window? Yeah, so let's um, draw one right down the middle. And we'll do another one right in the center. So we took our one rectangle and made it into four rectangles. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and we did that by just adding two simple lines. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's move on to the paint. Yay! All right, so now that we have all of our decorations on our birdhouse, let's look and see what paint colors we have. We're gonna start on the left and work our way to the right. So our first color is pink. So let's put some pink in our painter's tray. And we have orange. Light blue. orange I put in it's almost overflowing and another blue this one's a little bit darker oh, 
yellow. Green. Whoa! <laughs> I really like paint. And we have some brown. Okay, so we'll try to paint the birdhouse with just this amount of paint, but we're probably gonna have to come back for some more. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now we have all of our decorations drawn on with our marker, and we have a whole paint tray full of paint. So when I paint big things, I like to start with the biggest parts first and then work my way down to the smaller decorations. So let's start by painting the roof of the house. And I'm gonna use my big paintbrush and let's paint the roof of the house. Um, let's paint it brown. Yeah. Pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, let's do the edges too. Okay. We don't want to forget that. And let's do it again on this side. It's almost a little too light, isn't it? Oh, that looks pretty good. So let's do the back now. Hey, that's a pretty good roof. Oh, look, we're gonna drip right there. Yeah, look at that. All right, that is one roof, huh? Oh, we forgot these edges. other side. All right. Okay. That is one brown roof. Yeah. Okay. So what should we do next? Hmm. Put my paintbrush right there. How about if we do, hmm, what color do you think we should do the walls of the house? Let's paint it. Let's go with our darker color blue. Yeah. Um, where should we start? Let's go ahead and start on the back. And with the darker blue, we're gonna have to paint around all of our decorations. So we have to be very careful. There at the top. It looks like we might need two coats of the blue, doesn't it? Maybe we should use a smaller brush. That's all right, we'll make it work. That is the great thing about art projects. 
is you can do whatever you want. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we have the rest of the house to do. up underneath the roof. pretty good so far, doesn't it? Okay, we just have the front to do, and then we can start painting the decorations. Oh, we have to be really careful around the sun, don't we? Whew. Okay, one more side to go around the sun. Oh no, we got a little bit of blue paint in our sun. Oh well. pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, so we have a brown roof and a blue house. And the blue house might need a second coat, but I kind of like the way it looks now, doesn't don't you? Yeah, okay. So let's move on to color or painting our decorations. All right, let's start with um let's do our trees first and we'll paint our trees how about the color green? Yeah, um, trees around my house aren't quite green yet, but they will be now that spring is here. So let's grab another paintbrush and let's use this one. Okay, green for the trees. Pretty trees. Let's, oh, we have two on the back. Oh yeah, and the painting part is where we get to cover up our mistake that we made with our marker. Well, I won't call it a mistake. I'll call it, let's call it an artistic expression. Yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and cover it up with some green paint. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, oh, you know what? Let's use the brown that we used on the roof to make the trunk of the trees brown. Yeah. That's a really big paintbrush, isn't it? Um, let's just use the edges and see if we can get it to work. It 
it's almost perfect. All right, let's do these two. Great job. Okay, so what should we paint next? How about, oh, let's paint, let's paint our window boxes. And we're gonna make those, hmm. Oh, let's go with orange. Yeah, we have a ton of orange paint. So let me grab another brush. And it looks like we're gonna need a few coats of orange to cover up our marker. So we'll just put it on there real thick. And once it dries, we might come back and do another coat just so we completely cover up that marker. Okay, let's do the other side. Whoop, let's see. And we'll have to do the same on this side. These flower beds are going to need some flowers. Yeah, but first, let's go ahead and paint our sun. And we'll paint the sun yellow, yeah. Whoops. And we're gonna use a little brush for the sun. Pretty good sun. I did not do a very good job staying in the lines, but that's okay because this is a birdhouse that I'm making with your help and we don't have to stay inside the lines if we don't want to. That is the great thing about art. All right, let's see. We painted the roof brown, the house is blue, the sun is yellow, the trees are green on top and brown on the bottom. Our planter boxes are orange. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, we didn't use any pink. So let's make some pink flowers and we'll put them right here in our planter boxes. I think that's a good idea. Oh, I had to reach all the way across. So let's do um, let's do some pink flowers, and we'll just make circles for our flowers. Put one there and there. Yeah, and we'll do some on the other side. Now let's take our same brush and use some green for the stems. Oh, look at that! Okay, what do you think, friends? Do you like it? I think we did a pretty good job. Well done! Wow, friends, that was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for your help. I think that our little bird friends are really gonna like their new home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, explorers, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna continue exploring, click the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye.